Really? Mission accomplished. Shh. Do you know what that is, Aiden? Uh, it looks like uh, mouse turds, buckshot. Dios, que triste. These are eggs, Aiden. You have some really small chickens. Fish eggs. Belugas, to be exact. Straight from the Caspian Sea. Dissolving on your tongue, you taste the waves of a black, deep sea in a faraway land. The world is full of beautiful things, beautiful sensations. Pretty boys and pretty girls. But humorless grunts don't notice that. What do you mean? You can't be obsessed with political machinations and enjoy the beauty of life at the same time. Who do you mean? The Jack Matts and Aidens of the world. Such a shame you picked the wrong team. Only team I'm on is my own. Sounds lonely. I'm not a fan of loneliness, you see. Did Matt reveal to you what he'll do with those lamps in a place without power? And how he plans to carry out this suicidal mission? As I thought, take this and call him. Tell him the lamps will be delivered to the TV station. Matt, the lamps are ready. Got it, Aiden. Good work. I hope Juan didn't give you any trouble. Juan said that the TV station has no power. What good are these lamps to us if we can't turn them on? <sighs> Juan's just fucking around. Don't worry about that. Aiden, it's time we meet and talk about how to take that damn antenna. Wait for my signal. Roger. <sighs> that. Well, I hope you like taking orders, Aiden. Because Jack loves giving them. Stay close to your radio. You'll be informed of the meeting shortly. Take care of these two for me, will you? You've got to pay to play, sweet thing. I heard you saved the day in Lower Dam Air. Thanks. I had a brother in that unit. Command, we lost track of the fugitive. Over. Something to show you. I know about you. You help people. Well, I, I help people sometimes, yeah. I'll pay you, of course. I can't afford it. This is all mine. Mine and my dad's. Not in the market for a new skirt, but... You know what, sure. Tell me what you need. Okay. But this is just between you and me. Can't let dad find out. Oh, so it's his money you plan on spending. Nonsense. I'm trying to stop Dad's girlfriend from spending his money. Elena. She's got him wrapped around her finger. They've only been together a month and she's gone through his savings already. He's even mortgaged the shop. She has to be stopped or we'll have nothing left. Take this. It's all I have. If this goes any further, she'll kill him. Wait, wait what? Kill him? Like she did several so-called boyfriends before him. All fallen dead shortly after falling for her. Do you have proof? How about four bodies? All her exes except the last one. His name is Josh. Managed to escape her clutches alive. He can tell you all about her, I bet. Find Josh. Ask him. It may be the only way to save my father from his own stupidity. Where can I find Josh? Spends a lot of time at Frank's. Half in the bag. Usually after sunset. But I bet he can prove Elena is a killer. Hey, you seen the quartermaster anywhere? Aiden, we're about 
to meet up in the canteen. Join us. Roger. Josh. Why? Thick of your teeth? He not here. Thank God. Frank is one handsome fella. It's a shame he's such a booze. Oh, don't act so offended. I was paying your tits a compliment. How about I pay your balls a compliment with my shoe? Everything all right? There you are. You're gonna admit it and dick for brains here starts hitting on me. Sorry, my dude. I, I was just making sure your girl was safe. So where is your boyfriend? At the bar, buying me a beer. Go ahead, buy yourself one too. Haven't seen you here before. Where are you from? Nowhere that matters. I'm looking for a friend. You ran across a guy named Josh. It's regular, I hear. Rings a bell. What do you want with him? Uh, just swap stories of our love lives. Could swap a few of those myself. But sure, if I see him, I'll let you know. Take care. Hey, your beer. No worries, I got it. Living the high life, aren't you? I heard you mention Josh. Try the roof, man. The way he smacks folks around, he knows he's not wanted in the bar. <laughs> Thanks. Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fall even happened. That's about the only time I smile, and I see them with goddamn baby lights. found some weird tapes inside an abandoned building the other day. Some kind of audio diary. Hey, who are you? 
You're Josh? I want to talk to you about Elena. Elena sent you? She sucked her latest cash cow dry already? Or maybe, maybe she wants to see me? Nobody sent me. I hear you know a thing or two about Elena. Important things. Yeah, right. You want to fuck her like all the rest of us. Now get out of here before I lose my temper and rearrange your face. I'm trying to listen to my tunes. What? Flip the fuses! Now! Thanks. Thanks. And I'll talk. What secrets of Elena's are you keeping? All right. We hooked up not long after she lost her husband. Third chump in a row to kick it after being with her. You see? Spend money on her like it was going out of style. And then it was just... gone. Clearing my head real quick and I realized... Poison! She poisoned her former lovers and she was doing it to me! Poison? What kind? Got her own secret recipe. Apparently passed down from her old lady. Now from what I hear, you just as easily had alcohol poisoning. You think I don't know the difference? It's booze that saved me. I'm convinced. Knocked out that damn poison and saved my fucking life. Elena's a goddamn witch. She's got a whole stash of this shit in her apartment. Keeps it in these little orange boxes. Go check out her place on the ship. Okay, I'll take a look. One wrong move, and I skewer you like a pig. You? So you're a thief. Tell me about this. Fuck you. This is my apartment. Get out now before I call the guard. I'll go for it. Sure they'd want to know about your poison, too. So, you found Josh. And he said that I tried to poison him, right? Yeah, and that you're currently conning a man so that he'll turn over his shop and money to you. Right? Except you've got plenty of experience killing, right? Hey, we all got our ways to survive. If mine is to have chumps throw their money at me, and their way is to throw all their money at me, well, win-win, I say. But I've never killed anyone. No way. Why should I believe you? You took the drunk's word for it. Why not take mine? 
Hey, there's more than that here. Remember four dead men, all while involved with you? What makes you think I killed them and not, oh, I don't know, the virus or zombies? Look wet behind the ears. That's medicine. My mother was a medic and taught me a few things. Open up. What's going on? Hide it, quickly. Elena killed four people. This is the poison she used. This isn't poison. Just check. Ask Baba, the plague witch. She has a shop on St. Paul Island. She'll tell you I'm not lying. That charlatan? Please. If that's your best witness, you die tomorrow. Thank you, Aiden. That bitch got what she deserved. How did you convince your father to call the guards on her? It wasn't easy, but I panicked. I didn't know if I could trust you. I don't have anything else to give you, but I will talk to my father. I'm sure you'll be more than welcome in his shop. for you. Come on. The meeting's in the VIP room. The mood's friendly. Like fucking Christmas at my family home. Who do you think you are, you fucking liar? Calm down, Jack. Before you pop a vessel. This plan is total shit. Do better. How about this? Do nothing. It's definitely simple. Commander, isn't it high time we put this shit before a firing squad? Wow, the dark started barking. Guess I better behave. All right, whoa, fellas. You brought me here to plan something, right? Aiden, these are the VNC tower plans. Once we get the power back on, we can reestablish communication. People throughout the city will learn about our mission. They'll be able to join in and help us. So you plan on broadcasting propaganda? Whatever it takes to defend against the Renegades. When the Butcher sees how strong we are, he'll retreat. We'll prevent war. However, there are a few matters we need to take care of first. The whole district is powered by an electrical substation. I was going to send a squad to turn it on, but I heard you already did that. Good job, kid. Too bad you handed it over to the civilians. We could have used it. Doesn't matter now, Ro. At least we don't have to worry about electricity anymore. Step one is securing the perimeter around the TV station. My men will do that. I'll head out, sir. Of course, Ro. Good luck. We won't disappoint you, sir. Yes, we'll do our best, sir. Who asked you, Wisbowski? Now move your ass and wait on us. The next time you speak to me like that in front of my soldiers, I'll take my life and cut your fucking cock off! Oh, imagine all the grieving tonsils. Shut up! Can we just get back to the plan? Thank you. After Jack's puppies secure the entrance, my men will bring the lamps and set up an outpost. And then, if everything goes smoothly, which it definitely will, since the plan's author is the commander-in-chief himself. I'm warning you. You'll turn on the elevators and ride it to the top. And when you get to the roof, you attach the transmitter to the antenna. Got it? A lot of people say this place is dangerous. You don't say. Dangerous? What place isn't dangerous in this town? Our best people are on this mission. You'll be working with Ro. He can be a real pain in the ass, but him you can rely on. And you can always get in touch with me. The entire building is powered by the electrical substation. Rose men will secure the perimeter with lamps. I got it. 
You see, Juan? That's how you obey orders. Or get yourself killed. But my neck's not on the line here. See you at the TV station. It's a great day we've all been waiting for. Yes, a great day to die. Aiden? I heard Jack and Juan are trying to sell you a hot load of horse shit. Meet me outside the canteen. Took a break from assassinations to come see me? I'm just trying to keep you out of trouble. What do those warmongers want? Ask me to climb to the top of the VNC tower. What? Sons of bitches. You know what that place is? The tallest building in the whole damn city. But I can do it. I hate those fuckers. Ro Meyer? They're solid. But Jack and Juan? They're destined to stab you in the back. What's the problem? Oh, nothing. Except that's where Frank lost all the Night Runners and his leg. Jack and Juan are throwing you to the infected wolves to further their own goals. You're just a tool to them. Fucking lunatics. That's all right. The PKs will be with me, Jack said. Did Jack maybe mention the creatures that live there? I know it's dangerous, Luan. I have to do this. I've heard there are things there, things no one has seen, or actually seen and lived to tell. You sound scared. Of course I'm scared, Aiden. Oh, I didn't know you cared. Fuck you. Look, a few years ago, Frank tried to do what Jack is planning, and it was a tragedy. Don't believe me? Ask him yourself. Aiden. The entrance to the TV station is secured. We're just waiting for your lazy ass. Aiden, you there? Talk to Frank, Aiden. Please, don't do this. Aiden, answer. Okay, I'll talk to Frank. Thanks, Aiden. You're doing the right thing. Bro, I'll be there as soon as I can. Something came up. Hurry, Aiden. We're all waiting for you. Frank, are you alive, man? Ravik, I told you to fucking leave me alone. Now it's me, Aiden. Who? Oh, it's you. What do you want? Tell me about the VNC Tower. We were so close back then, Aiden. So close. Despite what the others said. <laughs> I really did have a good plan. A solid plan. But it was a bloodbath. Aiden, a bloodbath. Frank, how do I get to the rooftop? We went in without a full team. <laughs> Bastards! If they'd only had faith and stuck with me. But one lost faith and let the others astray. <coughs> Who was that? A Judas. That's who. If it wasn't for Rav, ugh, past is dead. So they say. <laughs> what matters is uh, that was the end of the Night Runners. Okay, but how can I get to the rooftop? <laughs> you can't. Nobody can. Now. Fuck you. What the hell? 
Come on, Frank, pull yourself together. Luan told me to ask you about the tower. Why do you want to know about that, hello? I'm gonna climb the VNC tower. What can you tell me about it? That it'll kill you, you idiot. You will die like everyone else. Like all of my friends. Frank, help me. How can I get to the top of the tower? You can. Nobody can, not without power. Got it. Electricity is your only hope. Already waiting for you, pilgrim. Today I'm not so sure. Renegades. Bit of electricity really brightens the place up. But the fucking elevators are still stuck. Power's not getting to them, it seems. Now, the building's been switched off for years, right? We need to check the electrical relays. Well, ain't you a fucking genius? The boys are in the dark zone already working on it. They're trying to locate the power distribution room in the smaller tower connected to this one. And they're setting up the lamps you got us to secure the surrounding areas. When my men switch on the elevators, we just go up, then... Oh, fuck me. It's Ro. Power's out again. Command says the substation is online and working five by five. It must be here. Leon, we have a blackout in the main hall. You? Affirmative. We're in the dark again. God damn it. Get out of there immediately. You got that? Leon. We're still looking for. Just leave it. Get out now. <laughs> Leon! Leon! Fuck. I have to get to them. I'm with you. They split up between Carter's A and B. I'm taking A. You go through the recording studios. I'm on it. Good. If you're there before me, just get them out before the dark gets too dark. And watch your back. We have no use for dead meat. Leon, hold on. We're coming for you. This way, Aiden. Corridor B. Good luck. I'm gonna need it, huh? Take this. You're gonna need it more than me, bro.
bro. I'm in the lobby. Roger that. Don't wait for me. The bastards cut me off. There's like 20 of them. I need to get back to the main hall. Make your way through the maintenance room to the basement. The power distribution room is down there. Leon? That's what it says on my dog tag. Where's the rest of the squad? They got us. Damn volatiles. This is where my story ends, bro. Hey, man, don't talk like that. Is there any more survivors? Aren't you the blind optimist? Chris. <sighs> he punched through and went that way. The blackout. I think it was his doing. Get the power back. It's the only way to get the elevators working. The terminals are in the basement connecting both towers. Please, take this letter and give it to my wife. She's on the ship. Yeah, sure. You can count on me. Just hang in there. I'll find Chris. Bro. I know what happened with the power. I'm on it now. I'll connect these terminals and restore the power. Did you find any of my boys? Only Leon and possibly Chris. The rest, uh, they didn't make it wrong. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Just, uh, be careful, Aiden. We can't lose any more men. Chris? <laughs> Ro, I'm here. The power won't come back on. Shit. You'll have to check the fuses. Uh. 
A reminder, for your safety and that of those around you, please maintain a distance of two meters from all others in the building. Cover your mouth and nose. Remember to wash your hands often. The virus can be spread through the air, via surfaces, or through direct contact. Only consume food after heating it to a temperature above 100 degrees Celsius for a minimum of two minutes. A reminder, for your safety and that of those around you, Please maintain a Remember to wash your hands often. Spread through the air, via surfaces, or through direct contact. Only consume food after heating it to a temperature above 100 degrees Celsius for a minimum of two minutes. I think I restored the power. Get the cable from the power yeah. distribution room and get out of there. This had better work. <sighs> Ro, Leon's gone. Fuck.
right, the elevators are working. All right, I did it. Ever gotten a medal, Pilgrim? Never. I'll cut you one. Out of a potato. We're going up to set up a temporary camp. See you on the eighth floor. You must like hanging out in dark zones, is that it, Aiden? What took you so long? Next time, you go. I knew it was a fucked up idea to come here. I got something for you. Thanks for what you did for my boys. I, I know you really tried to help them. What is this? A proximity tool. The GRE tagged more important goods with special RF markers. This might come in handy. Once all the antennas are working, you can use it to detect important containers and stuff. Lord knows what's waiting for us once we actually get to the roof. But you won't be alone. You'll have my men with you. And Lieutenant Rowe himself. Are you coming? I've had enough of leading from the back and hearing my people die. All right, let's go then. We're waiting for Matt. He's bringing the transmitter and he'll oversee the operation from here. So, you have some time for a nap, or to take a dump. Just somewhere outside the camp, pretty please. Hey, are you crying, man? I ain't crying. Fuck off. I hey, are you Leon's wife? How can I help? I was on a mission at the VNC Tower, and I, I met your husband there. I came here because I... I already know everything. I'd like to be alone. I see. I'm so sorry. Leon wanted me to give this letter to you. Thank you. <laughs> 